This is a road marking assistant, and this is an operator on their machine. Ensuring personal safety when working in a live traffic environment is a fundamental part of the road marking assistant's role and must take first priority over all other responsibilities. When painting, the operator's attention will be focused on the task at hand, and they may not be aware of the surrounding hazards. So the road marking assistant should work together with the operator to ensure the operator and assistant remain aware of and safe from passing traffic when applying markings. In this video, we will look at the duties of the road marking assistant to ensure the safety of themselves, the operator and the public when working in live traffic environments such as roads, warehouses and car parks. Some jobs will require the road marking assistant and operator to install and maintain their own traffic management when working in road environments. The road marking assistant must follow instructions of the operator. To safely install advanced warning signage on all approaches to the site. Then install cones around the intended workplace. and maintain the site as per the TMP, minimizing the site as the work is complete and the markings are dry. Once work in the area is complete, the assistant will also help remove the cones, then signage before moving on to set up in the next location. On some sites, traffic management will be maintained by a dedicated STMS. The road marking assistant should follow instructions of the STMS on any site they are working on and comply with all risk control measures for the site. Once working within an established work site, the road marking assistant needs to be alert and actively spotting for the operator in high risk situations. These situations include road environments where the available road space is limited and the applicator must enter safety zones or the lane to align the applicator with the markings or anywhere the operator's visibility of approaching traffic is obscured. The assistant must position themselves in a location that is within the established workspace or on the footpath where they can monitor the approaching traffic from a safe location and are immediately visible to the operator. When traffic is approaching, the assistant should signal to the operator to stop by raising their hand and saying stop loud enough that the operator can hear. Sufficient time for the operator to return to safety plus contingency time of 3 seconds should be allowed for the operator to return to the protected workspace. Verbal instruction to stop may be reinforced by rapidly clicking the dog clicker when working in noisy environments. Once traffic is passed and it is safe for the operator to resume marking, the assistant should signal the operator with a big thumbs up and OK. The operator may request the road marking assistant to spot in any other environment where moving people or plant may be exposed to the applicator, such as at pedestrian crossings or an active warehouse or a car park environment. In any situation that a spotter will improve safety, the road marking assistant must make this their first priority over other responsibilities. 